we're looking at a centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pumps are a lower cost type of pumping system. Typically use relatively low horsepower motors and can move pretty high volumes of water if your well is the right type of well. Uh, the static water level needs to be 18 feet or less and uh, typically those are, are wells that at one time might have been artesian wells. The centrifugals are good reliable pumps and have been used for a long time, just not quite as technologically advanced. And this pump, for instance, uses a seven and a half horsepower motor um, and can probably move 500 or so gallons of water a minute. A typical submersible that would pump 500 or so, so gallons a minute might be a 20 to 25 horsepower motor. What we're looking at now, the spiral shape thing, or sort of, I call them a snail shape, uh, that's the actual pump itself. There's an impeller within that round housing, and the water flows into that. The motor turns that impeller and just pushes it out, out through the pipe. So centrifugal pumps have been used traditionally in seepage systems uh, where it's sort of a turn the water on and let it run until the water table builds up sort of system. We don't typically turn centrifugals off and on, off and on, off and on throughout the day or throughout the irrigation period. You turn them on and let them run and they go. And again, they're only going to be suitable for use on wells where the static water table is 18 feet or less and even then you might have to pull a vacuum on the well casing to get that water table to rise so that the pump can prime itself.